Good morning, this is Mr. Trombley and I'm going to do a short demonstration video on how to tune your guitar. Now there are many ways to tune your guitar, um, but I'm going to be focusing in on how to tune the guitar to itself so that if um, you wanted to just play some chords or accompany yourself um, you can get the guitar so all the strings are in tune together um, and while this might not help if you want to play with somebody else, you'd have to tune to somebody else or tune to a fixed pitch. Um, this is just if you um, want to have the guitar tuned to itself. Um, and certainly you could use all sorts of other methods, electronic tuners, um, uh, most phones or iPads. You know, you can find a, a cheap or free tuner um, that can help you tune up your instrument. But this is just basically um, how to tune the guitar to itself in a few easy steps. So this is going to be focused on the fifth fret of the guitar, which is, you'll see, on most guitars, it's the um, second marked fret. We have a marked fret at the third fret and a marked fret at the fifth fret. So um, basically, you're going to want to have a starting, uh, a starting pitch on your lowest string, the E string. And in this case, um, this guitar is already relatively in tune, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to put it a little out of tune. So that doesn't sound very good. So if I have a, a pretty good starting point and maybe you, you get a note or um, you, your guitar is relatively in tune, um, you can use the starting low E string here. Um, and you can, again, you might have something that has a note on it that can at least give you a starting note. Um, but I'm going to go with my lowest E string. And then I'm going to move up to the fifth fret of that E string, and when I press in the 5th fret, and then listen to the next string down, the 5th string, I'm going to tune one string at a time. That doesn't sound right, so I'm going to keep adjusting that 5th string, until it sounds, that sounds relatively in tune. And so once I've tuned the sixth string to the or the fifth string to the sixth string, now I use the fifth string to tune the fourth string. And I'm going to use that same method, fifth fret, and making adjustments. So now my fourth string is in tune, so I'm going to use the fourth string to tune the third string. So now my third string is in tune, and so this is the one um, change you have to make. On the third string, I'm going to use the fourth fret, because the interval, the distance between the notes is different between the third string and the second string. I have to adjust on, the, on what fret I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the fourth fret of the third string to s listen to tune up that second string. That sounds relatively in tune, and once I get that, I go back to my second string, and I'm going to check my first string with that. So that sounds pretty close. Um, so now, big difference in the sound. Now my guitar is in tune to itself, um, and it's relatively tuned. So. So hopefully that gives you some ideas about, um, that helps you and reinforces the idea of, of tuning a guitar to itself. Thank you for watching.